Something out there is piss drunk matters. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Hmm. No. You would have to say that word. Yeah, Delvin. If anybody knows about curses, it's me. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. According to Brynjolf. with the Empire. We haven't much to discuss. I need yes? to talk to this man over here, Talon Jade. How did you meet Kirava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In oh. Lockmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Well, I could find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Can you tell me about the wedding ring? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. All right, well, I know you're planning to get married, but you might want to talk some sense into Kirava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Good man. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Kirava? Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. Uh, no, I'm just here to tell you that I've joined the Thieves' Guild. Are you ready to pay Brynjolf what you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. You sure about that? Maybe I should visit that farm in Morrowind. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Then pay up and I'll forget about it. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. I'll pay you back. Very good. It's not about the coin. It's about honoring your legacy by picking up arms and keeping this land free. I... The sooner what do you, you need, remember that, the better. Who are you? We should talk again sometime. I... Suppose we should. Yeah. What's your problem? What can I do for you? All right, now... Helga's bunkhouse. Planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Who is that talking? Helga. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Barb. This place is for the working man. I have a message from Brynjolf. What does he want now? 
I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. This isn't about money anymore. Look, I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. We've run out of patience. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. All right. Then we do this the hard way. All right, according to Brynjolf, there's Helga, a dis Debella so statue here. There it is. Love for you. It's only a bit of fun. You're a lovely young thing. You should try it sometime. No, There's I'm no way I can steal it with all these people in here. Who loves me dearly. You mean Sibby? You must be joking. All he wants to do is bed you and be done with it. You may as well get it over with and let him. You're wrong. Sibby and I are in love. You, you won't get, get away, away with that. that! I should have known. You all want to fight? I didn't think so. Well, maybe Brynjolf will pay my bounty. Helga? Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. So, should I just drop the statue down a well? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. So the last stop is going to be, uh, was it Beersy's shop? But I think it's too late. Huh, he didn't say anything. It's one of these. Hmm, that's funny, it's still open. Pretty late to be open. Drifa? Oh no. You're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? Yes. I just joined the Thieves Guild. I'm here to introduce myself. The name is Zathras, but you can call me Zath. I have a message from Brynjolf. Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> Here, take it. Well, thank you. That was easy. Wonder what got into him. I didn't even have to smash this urn or whatever it is. Alright, that should do it. I need to get back into the rat way. Hey, being a thief might be fun. If it can earn me the coin I need to try to fix my curse. thing is, I don't even know if it can be lifted. Look at this. The bodies are still here. I could be this way forever. Changing into a beast. I mean, I don't even know when it'll happen. Supposedly, when the moon is full. hope this is the quickest way to make money. It's 
Thought you could so, never do anything legal. Who do you think so, oh, yeah. Job's done, and you, you even brought the gold. Like you. Best of all, you did it clean. I hope caught you I like that. that. Dumping bodies and keeping Absolutely. the guards quiet can be oh, expensive. Oh, really? Well then, how can we make that happen? All right, well, here's what they owe us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. It would seem Here so. You go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Oh, really? What's this? Ah, uh, potions. Okay. What's next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. Why we need people like you in our outfit. Run the flagon with me. I don't want if there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. Well, I don't have I much you'll practice. Do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. Is that true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Hmm, maybe. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? No, really, there's more. All right, Delvin. What gives with that case of Shadow Banish you sold me? Fully ready. That boy tastes finer than anything she really brothers ever made. Sure, it tastes great. Only one problem. You said it can make the darkness as clear as day when you drink it. Guess what? It doesn't. But my responsible if the vintage was up on that case. So, here's the secret lair of the Thieves' Guild, huh? Interesting. And who was this? Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the Guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. Do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> oh, yes. I... <laughs> you smell wrong. But I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family life. All right, I'm thank you. expecting you to make us a lot of <laughs> coin. So don't disappoint me. This is great. So, how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tunelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Oh, I get new armor too. So, tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch 
is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. What's so important about these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. And what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. <laughs> all right. So, since I'm new to all this, I'm a mercenary, not a thief. I need more details about Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not Riften guards. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. And how do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. <laughs> Why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. So, Maven Blackbriar is the influential client. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So... How dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. All right. I consider myself warned. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. <laughs> That's funny, Brynjolf. Neither do I. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to with Delvin and Vex. Delvin, that last shipment we heisted on the Cyrodiil frontier was worthless. Is it possible? I distinctly heard that loud in the tavern say it was a Brynjolf, fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Mm, that's about right. I suppose I could use some advice. I'm new to being a thief. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeeva instead. <laughs> what happened? Look. I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Hmm. No. You would have to say that word. Yeah, Delvin. 
If anybody knows about curses, it's me. That's why I'm here. I need to make gold so that I can try to fix this problem I have. So, tell me, this curse, what can we do about it? Why can't you I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. All right. So do you know anything about the Golden Glow Estate? Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goth Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. The question is, what's Mercer going to do about it? All right. Find me if you're ever looking for some extra coin. I will. Ah, uh, Tanelia. So you're the new recruit, huh? <laughs> well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. Yes, we will. But why do you think we need to? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get dirged to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Mm, Look, fiery. I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. All right. Thank you. What the hell is Mercer going to do about it? Now, if you'll excuse me. Mercer is being Mercer. If he has a plan to get If you got something to say too. He isn't sharing it with me. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Well, if I did, you couldn't handle it. I don't care if you're best buddies with the guildmaster. I'll still smash in your skull if you try anything. All eyes are on you, lad. You know what? Don't you can try it. But I can guarantee you, you so won't succeed. Don't talk to me like, like that. Me. The last person that made trouble for Veckel ended up floating in the canal. Mm -hmm. Catch my drift. And you'll be right alongside him. Catch my drift. No, oh, these people think they are. All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. Before so... we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One... I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Look, I'm new to all this, so you can be the infiltrator. But I do need some help. And I know the drill. Now you I like. I've been getting sick of the pushovers that usually walk in here. I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. Now, it's time to get your feet wet, and I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. <laughs> what sort of business? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. That's what everyone says. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. He's probably I right. He's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So, what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? All right. I heard you ran into trouble at Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. All right, I appreciate. Hey, where do you think you're going? The advice. We have work to do. 
Yes, and I'm about to go do it. I think you should find things. something to do. Pretty angry, actually. Can't believe I botched the Golden Glow job. What should have been this? like stealing a sweet girl from a baby. Huh. I see your wounds have healed. A die maker. Still needs Who are you? I... Renewal, something stinks around here. And it's more than what have you got for sale? The Take a look. Is, what's Mercer going to do about it? Black dye. And gray dye. Hmm, what would I do with that? All right, then. I need to know. What's going on between you and Brynjol? Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. You must be the face sculptor I heard about. Yes, I once practiced my art in the salons and manners of Tamriel's great and good. Now the scum of Skyrim are my only clients. <laughs> but no matter, the greatest artists are never recognized in their own time. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Sure that will cover our expenses. Thank you, Bax. You've always been the most reliable. I'll have to think about it. Well, what the hell Indeed, is it is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's Mercer knife. Being Mercer. If he has a plan to get us out of this rough, then he is a All right then. Good day. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I'm Good still day. trying to figure out who you're supposed to be. Black Die. Okay. I suppose I better get into my armor. I just hope I don't transform and destroy it. Is there any privacy over here? Uh, gloves, though. Just settle down. Run the flagon with me. I don't want it settled. I like things the way they are. Come on, Tom. <laughs> Let me take care of you. Oh, All right. I can take care of myself. How are you feeling, Max? Actually, there's another way I should be leaving. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Kedoil. Don't look like much to me. You can all it's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Yes. Is there anything you need done around here? Now that you mention it, there is. I have a buyer with, uh, shall we say, a very odd taste in literature. Looking for some particular books. What kind of books are they? I'm told they're the ravings of a madman, a wizard named Arendil, and his peculiar cravings. It's said to be spread across four volumes and very hard to come by. My client is offering quite a reward for them, which I uh, split with him. All right, I'll get them for you. Then we have a deal. In his later years, Arendil moved into some ice caves known as Ingvil. He preferred the solitude in which to perform his, uh, experiments. All right, so what else do you know about this Arendil? Only rumors. He used to have a home in Dawnstar until they burned him down. The people say he was doing unspeakable experiments on reanimation. Rituals only a necromancer would perform. After he made for Ingvild, well, never heard from you again. Revenge, will you? <clears throat> can you wait a minute? Let me ask you this how can you be certain that the journals even exist? Recently, a woman was found 
naked and shivering along the road to Dawnstar. The only information the guard could get from her were tales of strange Good experiments and Arundel scribbling in his Sit journals. Down. Thanks. I'll get you the rest of your coin by tomorrow. And can you share anything about the Thieves' Guild? I don't know about the others, but I sure am glad to see a fresh no face shame. down here. I'll get you the rest the like flagon used to be packed every night with the boys from the Guild. Last few years have been pretty bad. I've almost closed this place up. Some new clients and did a few jobs on my own, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that will cover All right, our well, keep your chin up. Thank you, Bax. You've always been the most right, reliable. Let me get out of here. Well, what the hell is Mercer going to do about this mess? Have you even talked to him? Mercer is. When I was standing in here, I could smell fresh air coming from this way got a minute wanted to say what something. oh okay hello I've never seen anyone with skills like yours I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything you can talk to me hmm what skills would those be that you saw I can fight that's about it how did you get your unusual name my father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. Do you know what they mean? No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Maybe you aren't meant to know. Perhaps. They could be nonsense. He named scribbles done by someone in Idle Bordo. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. So, who gave you the name? Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I'll keep an eye out for anything. I appreciate that. Be seeing you. Oh, maybe I need to talk to some of these other people. Who is this? You're making waves around here. I like that. If you ever want to talk about anything, you let me know. So... It's Vipper? How did you earn your name? It was on a job a few years back. It was supposed to be a simple burglary on a house in Windhelm. I was working with Vex, and we got inside with no trouble. We found the loot, and made our way out. Sounds normal to me. Well, it was, up until the point where we set foot outside. The house was surrounded by town guard. The client had ratted us out. Vex just tells me to run, so I did. Half of them went after me, the other half went after her. Did either of you get caught? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Vex lost them in seconds. Once she steps into the shadows, she vanishes. Me? I ran. And I ran. Straight through the gates of Windhelm. And all the way back to Riften. That's an incredible distance to run. Vex was waiting for me at the flagon when I came in. Drenched in sweat. Everyone just took a look at me and laughed. Why were they laughing? Well, I had forgotten we had our horses tied up just outside of Windhelm. <laughs> Vex <laughs> rode hers back and arrived hours before I did. So, that's how I earned the name. Now keep it to yourself. <laughs> All right. Do you know anything about the Golden Glow Estate? I wouldn't bother smacking at those hives with a weapon. Set them on fire, and they'll go up like kindling. Mm, that's right, I'm gonna need to get some torches Come somewhere. back and see me, if you ever need pickpocket training. Alright, thank you for the advice. Who else is in here? Hi. Alright, I talked to him. Hey, hey! Hey! I want to talk to you. 
Okay, now. I'm here. So, you were part of a bandit clan? I joined up with them maybe 10 years ago. Small clan, maybe 20 men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. But not for you. Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. What changed? We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. You'd never had to do that before. No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. And Garthek? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. All right, good talk. Always a pleasure. <laughs> All right, was there anybody else? I'll talk to you. You're the one I don't trust. I don't think I talked to you. Hello. I want to say something to you. Oh, you do, huh? How did you become so good at picking locks? Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. With skills like yours, why not? I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living, either. With my lock-picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. I made a great deal of gold doing it, too. Jailbreaking? What's that? It's where a client pays you to get arrested. You get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... Well, to kill someone on their behalf. Either way, the trick was in the escape. And that's where my strengths came in handy. Why did you stop doing it? Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I'd do jobs for the Thieves' Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. I think I see what you're getting at. Yeah, the last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. Why did you join the Guild and not the Brotherhood? I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. All right. I'm sure we'll speak again. <clears throat> yes, good talk. Here's oh, another right. one. I have everything you asked for all ready to go. I hope this deal goes through. Come here a second. Quite a bit of coin on the line, and the last two you set up fell What do you know about the Golden Glow estate? The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead. Just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. And how did you end up at the guild? I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise you. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Why would you leave all that behind? Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement. Something dangerous. Hmm, I can understand that, like being a thief. I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. 
I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit. Made me feel alive. And how did you end up in Skyrim? Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. Hmm, that must have been difficult. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. Hmm. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. All right. Good to meet you. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. Hmm, if only I could wield a bow. All right. I think it's time to get out of here. Upset everyone. been down there talking for so long it's what time is it oh my goodness almost one o'clock in the afternoon huh. I guess I'll sleep at some point all right I need to make some preparations for this uh, golden glow estate get some torches among other things